One of the biggest challenges for Mount Pulaski, Illinois farmer Tom Martin is understanding the quality of the soil in the fields where his corn and soybeans grow. It's one of the basics of our profitability, uh, be able to know what's in our soils to be able to grow our crops. Testing in the past has, for me has been unreliable. That information influences how much fertilizer Martin might need to buy. But using technology to gather data deep in the middle of his fields, far away from sources of electricity and underneath growing crops blocking the sun's solar energy. Martin's biggest obstacle in analyzing the soil is powering devices that gather information. I look and see that if there's other new technology to help us do a better job at understanding what's going on in our soils. I knew that there was a need for more cheap and accessible and easy to use, basically, agricultural soil health sensors. Laura Jalif is a postgraduate research student at Northwestern University. She's been working on a device that doesn't need a battery and works almost anywhere in any condition, day or night. It's uh, meant to address the challenge of soil health sensing in agriculture. The microbial fuel cell Jalif works with is the creation of Northwestern University student Bill Yen. So all we're doing is we're putting a device there that can grab all these electrons that these microbes uh, release and then we're using that to channel into our electronic devices to create our source of power. Researchers first discovered microbes could naturally produce electricity as early as 1911. But only recent advances, like the soil sensors Yen and Jalif developed, are beginning to show the technology is viable. The overall motivation for this is really to push intelligence beyond the grid. Yen says the microbial fuel cell powers sensors that supply information to artificial intelligence, which helps provide a better understanding of the overall environment. Yen's device is adapted for different soil conditions to get maximum use. The technology is simple to create, open source, and can be constructed using a 3D printer. All it is is an anode and a cathode. So we have two pieces of electro that we made out of carbon felt. So these can be th things that you can make from really plant matter. So you can make carbon felt anywhere in the world just by processing biomass. Harnessing the natural power of microbes doesn't produce enough electricity to power cell phones or personal devices. It only creates about 200 microwatts of energy, making them bigger also doesn't create more power. You can't just make it twice as big, expect to get twice the amount of power. But it's just enough to give farmer Tom Martin information that could save him a significant amount of money when it's time to apply fertilizer to his fields. And it's not just a fertilizer, it's, it's, it's everything, fuel, labor. With the information the microbial fuel cell can provide, Martin isn't just helping his finances by reducing fertilizer use, he's also helping the environment. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Mount Pulaski, Illinois.